Hello everybody, this is Circuit Main once again for Circuit's Game Groom, and we are back in Monster Hunter Rise, where at last we left off, we fought the monster formerly known as Dracula, or at least one imitating Dracula. However, it looks like we're not quite done yet, as there is something in the winds indicating that further something further is going on. And you can see that I'm a little bit more costumed this time around. Uh, during the week, a... Alice in Wonderland themed um, outfit came out. Most you can obviously tell the Cheshire Cat of all things. So I did a little bit. I did a li quick little reconnaissance uh, during the week. Uh, just uh, did the event quest a few times, and I got all the pieces because I figured might as well have a little bit of fun dressed up uh, for the for this run. So yeah, I'm running around as a Cheshire Cat now. Actually, I forgot to check. Is it just me that can do that? Yep, it's just me. That would have been weird, though. So anyway, so you can see that we have two uh, Master Rank Level 5 quests uh, sitting and waiting for us. So at the, we're gonna go ahead um, quickly get our optional on here, and I'm hoping to get joined by a couple of others here later on. Uh, right now, I can see that it's kind of on the just me at the moment, but I have confidence. So we got we get to deal with the Rajang, the Basil. We also have um, two team ups here. But I think it's time to deal with a little bit of, um, revenge is the best way to put it, with the basil. But yeah, first let's go ahead and get ourselves set up here. We're going to set up with a weakener, uh, hopefully that will give us a little bit of a boost with this next put on the defender because these monsters are hitting harder and faster and uh, polisher because it's a pain in the butt to have to polish a weapon and take more time to do it time to go quick simple and easy or at least that's what I think anyway and go ahead and make sure our item loadouts are good all set up there uh, before I forget, better check with the Meow Scenarios and Argo Seas. Nope, they're still going. That's still going. Everything's all good there. And so here we go. So, yeah. Now, I don't believe that I've uh, had the uh, wonderful opportunity to show off Basil in the in the game here, though I have encountered it already, though that was for the single player. Basil, if you ever talk to somebody who played Monster Hunter World, is a nightmare. <laughs> because, because every time, every time you are in the middle of, fi of fighting anything, it doesn't matter what it was, doesn't matter what's going on, and even if it, he wasn't in the map, I don't know how it happened. But you would hear this song just suddenly playing over the horizon. It's, go, it's going like, dun 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 And then you knew what was happening. Because you would see this giant freaking 747-sized blimp of a monster coming up and ram into you like, it was, like you owed it money. It was vicious and hilarious. I mean, it's it's hilarious now, but when it first happened, oh, it was terrifying. That thing would come after you, and it was not nice about it. But I mean, now we laugh at it just because it's just such a such a meme. It's just so hilarious. But yeah, it looks like good old Basie was uh, enough uh, fun of enough of a treat that they decided let's bring let's bring it back in Rise. So now we have to deal with Basie and Rise. 
So the first thing I am also going to be doing, and grabbing that, is I am obviously going to make sure I am very well and adequately prepared for this thing. Because I am in Master Rank 5, I haven't been able to upgrade my weapon yet to a poison variety. And so everything is going to hurt, and it's going to hurt a lot if I'm not careful. Of course, it is also on the hopes that uh, my friends and teammates are able to show up. Ooh, ship shell. Let's see here. Ah, oh, man, missed it. All right, up we go. Huh. I don't think I've ever been up this part, though. Okay. And I think that's Frost Wolf down there, so definitely don't want to deal with that yet. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, hope it's out a little bit. Alright, no worries. You can get right back up in there. Also, uh, for those of you who are watching live, I hope you are all having a great Mother's Day, whether you are a mother or a mother lover. However you want however you want to celebrate the day, I hope you're celebrating it with the best and the best uh, people in the world for you. You know? Whether mom, stepmom, surrogate mom Maybe a girlfriend who you want to be a mommy. You know, however you want to do it. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I saw that coming. Oh, yeah. It, you know, Mother's Day is one of those busy times. I actually did go by the grocery store, and yeah, the, the, they had like uh, an entire section devoted to flowers alone. It, it's, it's honestly surprising how intense the holiday has gotten um, over the years for me. Or maybe it's just how it feels. It just feels like it's an intense holiday, you know? Not, not that there isn't anything wrong with it. Uh, I have no complaints at all. It's just surprising. But yeah, I I mean, did we see the same intensity for Father's Day though? Actually, that would be I don't know how I would feel about that. Just going to a store and you're just seeing racks and racks of ties and cologne and you know, just just like daddy's going to love this. Yeah. Though it would be nice to get flowers. I'm not going to lie. I mean, how cool would that be to to basically um, be a big old uh, a dad in this big old world, and then suddenly you just get like flowers? Oh, hold on, I actually need to take a picture of this. In the bag. Yep, there we go. I had a request for that, so I'm glad I ran across that. I am still trying to do random side quests here and there, though most of them are just either beat this thing up or take a picture of this. But yeah, they're slowly uh, but surely coming to an end there. I'm okay with that. Yeah, maybe for those of you who are wondering what's the goal for the Monster Hunter Rise streams here, we I want to beat both of the storylines and I want to fight the best monsters that are out there. So we're getting closer and closer to the finish of the storyline, but then we got new monsters that were introduced into the game afterwards for the expan on the expansion, as well as um, probably breaking a few additional things in the other in the. What? All right, I think things are about to get real intense here.
Hold on, buddy. You and me, we gotta fight a basil together. Alright, so it looks like it's time to fight the basil. Of course, we're gonna make sure we get some nice damage done here with our friend monster. Let's soap him up! Oh boy, he is mad! Alright, also some of you will notice I have not swapped out to my, to the uh, last of the uh, cat creatures that I need. Simple reason. I am not fighting these suckers without some backup, getting healing back up. All right, quick charge up the of the shield. There we go. All right, come on, come on. Ah. Oh, that was not a good jump. That was not a good jump. Mm. Oh. Honestly though, I like the I like what this monster stands for. I think the design is horrid, but I I am all about all that explosions. Because remember everybody, explosions solve everything. Oh shit. Ugh. There we go. Oh shit. Okay. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yes! Thank you, brew hair. It's all the brew hair, hair, hair. Okay, he's finally calmed down a bit. I'm oh, quick complaining. You know I did all this fair and square. Okay. Uh. Is he? No, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, we gotta hurry. I don't know if we can get a second run of this, but if we can, oh, this is gonna make things so much more gloriously interesting. Alright, here we go. And there it goes. Okay, so no second run. Figured. Okay, shield needs a charge. Oh. Oh, fish crackers. <laughs> 
Oh, dang, no, 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 no. Damn it. Uh, okay, I'll, hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, let's just use the potion. Okay, come on. Come on, down with you! Oh, no! I'm okay! I'm okay. Luckily, the water broke my everything, including my fall. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I got a mantle that says random drop. Oh. Oh, Christmas came early and Santa was generous. Oh boy, here we go again. All right, jumping in, jumping in. Okay. We get it, you're angry. Okay. All right, so far so good. I haven't had any deaths. I've actually managed to do some pretty decent damage. You know what, I think I've evolved. I have evolved as a hunter and I am very happy for that. Oh, I gotta fix something. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, <laughs> that was different. All right, I'm going to try something ridiculously stupid, but it also m just might work. Run, 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 run. There we go. That's running better. Darn, didn't work. Hey, how's it going, Shorty? Hey, not too bad. Just making up food before I jumped in. And try to figure out where I put Twitch. Well, everybody always wants to know where they put Twitch. But oh, food that's sounds amazing, though. Weekend, that's a memory. <laughs> it's a live stream link. <laughs> Oh, not good, not good, not good. Put the other thing I need right here. Ah! Yes! Farewell. 
Oh, it, that worked, but oh man, it did not go pretty. Come on, load up the load up the stream. <laughs> I didn't see the <laughs> I didn't see the costume before. Uh yeah. <laughs> yeah, apparently just this week they had an Alice in Wonderland thing going um a thing event going on and the Cheshire cap was the costume for it. So I figured why the hell why not? Coming! Be the Palico. Go 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 Ugh. Ow Oh, I didn't. Ha I thought I had two of those. Oh well. Run, 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 run. Ow. Risk was calculated, but man, am I bad at math. Get it, your vape. Jeez, you're an angry guy, aren't you? You know, maybe it's just that explosive temper of yours. Maybe if you cool, calm down a bit, get some scented candles, things like that. Oh, I call such bull right there. That is, that's so messed up. Actually. I just had a really crazy thought. Really, really crazy thought. Uh oh. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um, barrel, 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 barrel. Bingo. <laughs> Is the thought see if you can glue, glue a rock onto the front of your sword? Oh no. You see, I found a sleepy toad. And this guy is oh. very affectionate when it comes to his explosions. Ah, he's gonna go from wake to sleepy. A little more than that. But you got the right idea. Huh. Hey, sleep. Hey, guy. You know what? You're cranky. You're tired. You've had a long day. You know what? You could use a nap. Oh, it worked. It worked. Oh, so deliciously happy it worked. Plant a bomb. Plant a bomb. Oh, I can only... Okay, fine. <laughs> so... But it didn't do, go work as well as I was hoping. 
But hey, free damage is free damage. Oh, stop. Stop yelling at me. Oh god. Freaking gave me a heart attack there for a second. It's fleeing. Getting dull. Okay, whoop, ah. You're here. Okay, can't get complacent now. Yeah, I've been giving Monster Hunter a bit of a fucking breather. I don't know if you noticed it was on PSO for a good chunk of last week or so. Yeah, I, I well, I noticed, but I, I kind of got context cues from around me. <laughs> so I noticed, but I didn't really notice either, you know? I, you know what? I realized I, I stopped playing PSO the moment I they did the uh, everything is in a video game crap. To be fair, that was only for one chapter. I specifically have been playing NGS. No, I just haven't had a chance. To, just been stuck on everything else going on. So it's not it's not like I had I said boo to it. It's just like that's it, literally where I stopped playing. I just remember that. Well, I'm glad you could join me for the hunt of the form of the formidable, friendly, known foe. B12, yes. Gotcha. Yeah, that didn't work as well as I like. Sorry, I don't get right. Well, you can't flitch me anymore. I'm good. Oh. It's, it's the end. It's targeting you. This build is almost complete. I just actually have to get to the fucking grind. I just had to take a hard breather from the game and for, for about like a week though, as much as I'd been playing it. 
No, I get it. Uh, and I'm sure the Let's Plays here haven't exactly given me a chance. No, the play, Let's Plays haven't been a problem at all. The Let's Plays have been chill. Oh, I'm glad for like, that, that at least. That ain't the problem. <laughs> no. It's the, it's the hardcores, isn't it? It's not even that. It's just doing the... Gr like you said, it's not the worst because I have a system to help speed it up, but doing the grind to get the, uh, the really up there shit is... It takes a bit. It does. Yeah. Like I'm, like I said, I'm on the edge of getting to the uh, 240 range, is where literally the last uh, pieces I need are at. It's just ugh, the grind. Sorry, I'm grabbing some items real quick. Yeah, grab away. Because trust me, I don't usually endorse the rush right in and get into the fight thing, but you know. I believe it on the late side. I feel kind of bad for the little critters all around here. They're getting blown to hell. It's kind of funny just to watch the havoc the basil just causes by being. Well, it was our favorite monster in the world for a reason. It shows up and all hell breaks loose. I don't know about favorite, but he is sure as fuck is funny. I say favorite in quotation marks. Nice one. Da 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 da, da boom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, there's something to love about a fucking goofball that comes slamming in, slamming in face first. No, it's like, hey, you guys. <laughs> Especially with his own theme song to match. Oh yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, things are about to get really interesting here. All right, all right, that's enough. That's enough. I'm on my way back. Let's go. Oh, come on, work with me here. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. One more good hit. There we go. Ha, ha, ha. Nice. Ah! Damn it. Farewell. Hello. Actually, back hopped off the stage. <laughs> well, we we are basically fighting in like this small little crevice area. Yeah, I know. I was backstepping to do my uh, little chain combo thing that I keep doing all the damn time. Oh. I went whoop right off the ledge. Uh, and I just went whoop right off the ledge. See? Didn't <laughs> Did it? It didn't even drop anything. Did we actually max out the drops at this point? Well, no, you probably did. I didn't. <laughs> oh, okay. What items of what item set do I have? I have I have anomalous hunts. I don't have capture. You have capture gear in this early or? I do. Okay. I've got pitfalls and stuff. I just don't have any tranks on me. Yep. No worries. I'm all tranked up. I've got a few bombs because I ha I managed to grab a sleepy toad. That, that was a fun little irony to pull on him. It does help if you can pull it off. Oh, God! Yes! Look out. Resulting. Good luck, motherfucker, I'm behind like literally seven proxies. And I just had fun literally slamming an axe into the face. Man, that'd be funny if he had fucking knocked himself out doing that, because he's done that before. <laughs> he has. 
The shield guard bash thing is honestly just hilarious. I, I love it. Bazy, Bazy, give me your answer, dude. I'm half crazy because I'm trying to kill you. I got nothing. I'm half crazy because of the likes of you? Yeah, I'm half crazy off our explosions of you. Yeah. Silent man, he's not all that silent. Uh, yeah, because the allergies. Ugh. Oh, there it it's is. Been it's been it's been raining like a motherfucker over here. So yeah, it rained yesterday. Now like the pollen went crazy. Yeah, uh, we've got some rain going on right now ourselves. Stand still. Yeah, I know. So it's like, man, like, okay, cool. Now we can trap him. Now we just gotta get to stand still long enough to trap him. Okay, got a shocker down. We just gotta. Yeah, I know. We just gotta stop walking around it, asshole. Give it all you've got. <sighs> yeah. oh, that fucking annoyed this game. The monster just always barely sidestepping the trap. <laughs> Ooh, trap! Let's dance around it a few times. <laughs> yeah, no, they'll they'll swing and attack just slightly around the fucking thing. Oh, there's a race today. I swear, if it wasn't for the fact that I know I'm uh, that these are outfits, I swear I had I would have mods. On. Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay. Oh, did you did you get a couple of little uh? Here's a pop quiz for you. How many mantles did I pick up in this run? Three. Four. Four mantles. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. And the hey, gem. Listen. And the gem to boot. Hey, I don't know if you're gonna be interested in the basil stuff, but there you go. Uh, I gotta, I, I could probably kite out in a full basil setup if I really wanted. So how's it going for you, Silent? Other than uh, allergy fun? Yeah, it's going fine. I'm still waiting for all the rest of the stuff for the work, but. Uh... Be sure to check the special list. Don't forget to check the transport items. And make sure I get my options on. Here's a list of quests. Options. It's good to have options. They are, in fact, a good thing. I must be out of my mind. You just not realizing this? Say what? So you're just not realizing this? Yeah. Alright, I'm confirming it. Call me, call me. Hmm. Call da 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 Okay. <laughs> Ooh, the Duke's shield. I almost want to get the it just... Duke. The Duke abides. <laughs> the Duke's of hazard shield. Yeah. Yep. Alright, uh, let's see. He is such a fucking funny fight with this guard bass shield nonsense, dude. He really is for me. I'll put everything Master Hammond taught me to Bang good Mala, use. Grom, Rajan, Nabush, Narwa, Smithy, Feline. Okay, I won't be swimming too far for it. Pendary, Pelum, Mazzola, Espinath is an elder. Huh, that's funny. Or was it part of the dragon tea, maybe? What are you looking for? The basil weapon. Look low. No, no, I'm going low, but I'm, I'm getting all the way to even the Gormagala, and I am not finding it anywhere. 
Unless it's part, unless it's part of one of these weird unknown Wait. trees that I haven't even apparently touched yet. Uh, if you haven't gotten enough of the previous parts, you probably didn't unlock the first stage. Was probably being fussy with you. That's probably it. Because it should be. Let me see. There may not be a basal charge blade. First and foremost, there just may not be a basal charge blade. Oh. I that'd be a shame, but it feels like a horrible shame because it it seems like it would lend itself so well to just random oh, explosions. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think there's there's a basal geese gun. Oh yeah, no, there's a gun. There's a there's a lance. I don't even know think there's a gun lance either. Although Maglin Malo got like a double barrel shotgun. To be fair, Mag Malo it does have a charge charge blade so if you really wanted a blast one it probably wouldn't be bad to go with that one yeah i'm not seeing one and if i'm not seeing it it probably doesn't exist bus oh well it's not blast i think it also gives off like the hellfire effect too oh well maybe if i'm feeling frisky i can try going after the basal armor granted i'm it's, literally missing... interesting but i don't think it really jives with you it's really more of a lancing set or gun lancing set to be specific jeez there is nothing that guy had I almost feel like that was just his old way of spiting me. Fine, you can take me out, but your my pieces will mean nothing to you. Or maybe give it to my palico. Yeah, you can definitely making the gear for your palico though. Yeah, hang on. There's our silver lining. Palico make, or dog? Make that little motherfucker cute. A little bit of both. Yeah, the seething, the basil stuff would have been right underneath the uh, narwhal. If yeah. you could see it, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Alright, let's see what uh, basil equipment can... Ooh, that is a nice little boosty. Alright then, let's go ahead. I remember, that's just a regular basil. There's a super explody basil, too. Oh boy, super explody. <laughs> there we go. He master rank now. <laughs> <laughs> he's still so he's still Sonic, but I just I just want to keep the Sonic. I just love him being Sonic so much. It's just so hey, much. Gee, boo. Yeah. I just do cicada all the time because I'm a shitter. <laughs> And we'll keep the dog as is for now. Alright, should be all ready to Oh right! I'm gonna check my fucking nest up here real quick. Oh. <laughs> it's just so close yet so far. No! <laughs> <laughs> no again! <laughs> yes. I can't land. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I the fucking play PSO is fucking playing havoc with me. <laughs> no, it's okay. Actually, I keep just... on pulling trigger to start dashing, and I'm wait, wait, that's not the wrong game, Cody. <laughs> it's actually, I, it's all right. I just remembered. Uh... Yeah, oh yeah, the monk. I, I, I head I, back I, to Kimura for the for the nest there too. I just needed to get the monk snail uh, picture to the guy. Now I can make a monk snail hat. Monk. Monk. Eh, just for giggles. What does it look like? Mushi, flame seal, gargwa. Okay, this is weird. It should be pretty low, shouldn't it? Chrome skull. Draw the full thing. Out. I don't know. Is that actually armor I have to pull? Uh, I guess I'll deal with it another time. All right. It's probably just a special headpiece. That's what I thought too, but it wasn't loading in the specials either. Yeah, it must have been a high rank or a master rank yeah. or a low rank. Here we go. That means this probably is a costume that's in the uh, in the set. You just gotta figure out where it is in the lower tiers. Yeah.
Kids with guns. Kids with guns. Taking over. Mm. I don't know why, it just popped in my head. Eh, whatever works. Do, 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 do. Grabbing lots of birds. Grabbing lots of birds. Their bellies are so full, and somebody made a mouse pad out of it. Yeah, I did see that. I still hate them, though. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, I just found it a funny mouse pad. I believe you squeeze them, they squeak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No. <laughs> God, no! That one. No, that's wrong! <laughs> <laughs> the, fucking, the fucking Goku from the bridge squeak. Uh, <laughs> I really hurt! <laughs> uh, of course he would come up with that one when we were fighting the Rajang. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it's almost it's intentional. Not really. It just oh, uh, that's just literally how the train of thought fucking fired off. Tell you what, guy, you go ahead and do your thing. Just leave me alone, and I'll leave you alone. Good. You don't have to go and have a a dance off where I'm trying to grab spear birds and you're trying to send me. A, uh oh, he's casting flames on me. Okay. Ugh. Me spitting flames at you. That too. You splitting truths and facts at you. Spitting there, yeah. English. I failed today. Yeah, see, we're good. I'm I'm walking away, far, far away. I ran, I ran so far away. Couldn't get away. I don't know why. I don't know why it's the fucking music hour. You could tell me to shut up and you would be fucking allowed to. Sorry. Nah. Bye, Bye Rajang. That's alright. I figured get it out of your system a little bit and you should be golden. So I'd probably be doing it too if I came up with some of this crap. To be fair, another song popped in on that one. I'm not singing at all because that's MSI. We ain't doing that. We ain't running that risk. Oh no. I like my own self indulgence, but I know damn well that shit ain't fucking. <laughs> that shit ain't good for fucking streams, depending on the song you go with. It's amazing how insane they got they've gotten with the copyright stuff, though. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I wish I could. Yeah. I wish I could say I was, but. It, I'm, actually, I am surprised. Oh, no, just no, 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 no. I mean, no, 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 apparently they even got the game grumps for Aaron's like do 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 thing. I that really they tried they tried to get him for now for the fucking him just fucking around with the thing. Apparently, at least that's just what I heard from what, while they were talking on one of their other videos. Like they, like apparently, apparently it was enough somehow. I mean, that's just fucking music, music corporations and shit. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Support band camp here. Support your local artists, everybody. Support your band camps. Mm. Yeah. And uh, to a lesser extent, your SoundCloud rappers. Gas money. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're playing Monster Hunter. <laughs> I'm guessing you're already facing the monkey man. Yep. Oh god, he went super saiyan. <laughs> oh yes, please hit my shield. It worked out wonderful for you, I promise. Thanks for the buff. Okay, get those rest. You missed. Oh, thanks for the real buff. Side up. You're fairly meaty in terms of size. Wow, 
Oh, this ain't good. Let's see, how about down here maybe? Yeah. At least I'm fighting more spirit birds while I'm at it, but have a little trouble getting down here? Apparently yeah. Yeah, the stage kinda blows. Oh wait, I think I found something. Oh, that's a lot of water! Mm. Uh -oh. There we go. Sorry, monkey. I finally joined in, though. All right. I'm gonna poke him in the butt. Yeah, and then he ran. Because of course he runs when the cat puts down a healing pot. He's fixing. <laughs> he he did that on purpose. Yes, he did. Typical monster bullshit. All right, bit of a heads up, I got a paratoad on me. Okay. Well, let me know when you put it down. I'll try to keep my space. Got it. Oh, God. That would be a great time to drop it. Never mind, don't do it yet. I thought it was, I thought it was a knockout. How big is that fat hitbox is? It seems to be Speed. wider than... Speed! Oh, son of a bitch, she actually grabbed me. Oh, but he got you instead. Ow, he got me. Wirebuck. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, fuck. I'm fine. You can wirebug to avoid that last part of it. Wow, that that decoy is something else. Yeah, it keeps him busy for a second. Thanks for the buff. Good look out, he likes to follow up that rock, uh, Shost. Oh shit! I accidentally dropped it. Wait, 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 wait! Nope, he's spawned. Oh right my back god! Into it. You're a genius. <laughs> Apparently, I'm still a genius. I will absolutely take accidental genius. I got that's a grab. Come on, roll. Sorry, I'm not a touchy-feely guy, Mr. Monkey. How about we just, um, fist bump? No, wait, um, uh, shake hands? Uh, tell you what, I'll just wave at you from a distance, and you just keep away from me. Yeah, it's probably the safest thing to do when it comes to River Shang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He spins. Please Spin my monkey right round, right round like a monkey baby. 
Right, 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 right. You missed. Did we knock the Super Saiyan out of you? Super sad. Why'd you say it? You came back? It always comes back anyway. Yeah, if we could cut off the tail. Wait, so literally the strength of its power is its tail. The regular one, anyways. The regular one doesn't have a tail to cut. Fuck you. Oh boy, that monkey is traveling. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the other camp, actually. Fuck that. Agreed. Good. I'm back. Oh. Damn it. Motherfucker. Got eyes on the primate. He's targeting you. Wait, I know how we could stop him. Give him a donut. Nothing beats a jelly filled donut. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, I remember that now. Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> I'm more surprised we haven't made the joke yet till now. <laughs> yeah! Don't worry, we're gonna send you to a wonderful little habitat. And if we promise it's not handled by PETA. God, Peter will be destroyed in this world. Thank God. Well, not like in all actuality, this is like literally they run counterpoint to what the guild does, and they would they would have them fucking surmisely executed. Well, no, uh, either that or just tell them, okay, you go ahead and save the mo the uh, monsters yourselves. Let them try and save them in the wild. They'll take care of themselves quite easily. Hell yeah. All right, we can capture it. Oh. Yeah, I did say we would, didn't I? By the way, don't put down a sh uh, don't put down a uh Never mind, you can now. I was going to say don't put down a shot trap first if he's still gold. If he's gold, it you will just fucking break it. Well, no problem there. I can't even Put down a trap. Give it all you've got. Yeah, the rule is if he's gold or if he's pissed off or angry, don't put down a goal uh, don't put it down a shock. And if you put down a pitfall, don't be in front of him. Uh, either way, he was being a very angry monkey. Stupid monkey. That would look bad. Good. Good. We took down the monkey. Just in time. <laughs> Dodge, you motherfucker. Uh, Ooh, and I got a large beast gem. Yeah, they're pretty right for those. Once well, you start fight, fighting them for anomaly ranks, I mean, I'm assuming specifically both the regular and the uh, fierce version, you'll be swimming in the fucking things. Uh, <laughs> now it's time. That's descriptive. The Kirio are acting mm. strange. With their host gone, they've lost their food source. So me and the other researchers figured it was only a matter of time before they'd all die out. 
Yet they're still fluttering around. What makes you think they're acting so strange? No knights have reported anything. Have you noticed anything, Circuit Main? I got beat up by a monkey. No, I haven't noticed anything. <laughs> yep. I, just, I love that the camera panning back to you and you just hear the fucking boo <laughs> little fucking laugh. Because <laughs> the fucking homework. I think Did it might be my issues. Yeah, I noticed the monkeys were ornery. And maybe I'm like those twins from Sigourney Village resonate with them now. Uh, Okay, the only thing resonate with is my nerves. <laughs> anyway, what's so strange about it? It's likely they're getting excited. Sure, they're slowly weakening without their hosts, but they seem happy, like children that were praised mm. by their parents. Mm. Okay, that's terrifying to think about. Mm. <laughs> Are you silly? Are you silly? Are you silly? <laughs> <laughs> that dude's having a good time. Your spirit shines bright. A Shagaru Magala have appeared. Ooh, an Elder Dragon. Yep. Remember the OG story from 4. I'd tell you to bring a fire weapon, but you already got that covered. Yeah, I think I can handle that. My traps are probably going to be pointless outside of just bugging them. No, dude, yeah, he's, a, he's now an Elder Dragon. Traps will not work. Oh yeah, that's right. I mean, it's not even to bug him. It just literally is a waste of resources. Manage items. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Mm, go the deflector. Perfect. At the tail end of a reckless battle, two beasts find themselves in a place they don't belong. And when the master of this land appears, not even the mightiest attacks can do it any harm. With its overwhelming strength, it pummels and pins down its prey. Its endless anger fills the air in the form of a deafening roar as it prepares to feast without leaving a single bone. Everybody, this is going to hurt. It's going to be an interesting experience. I do suggest trying to get as many of your buggos as you can, your birds, whatever. Right. I remember we're dealing with the Magala, so no, no berries and what have you, frenzy. Right, acquiring birds. Bird up. Bop, bop. <laughs> Actually, that's, that's surprisingly accurate at this point. Yes. It actually is. This is still a shitty system, just like the Vakulik who's a shitty monster. Oh, absolutely. I will not defend this system. <laughs> I put the Vakulik you part in because I was like, huh, I wonder if Mike would just appear. <laughs> you probably wouldn't. I don't even know if he's in the call, but it would just be really funny. Just random bird pops in. Random angry shark thing pops in. You talk about my birds. <laughs> It's an, egg, it's an egg wielding menace and a threat to all li natural life. That bird is just a threat. <laughs> hey, what's your, what do you identify a as a threat? <laughs> Ooh, poison toad. Hello, oh. Freyline. Not just yet. The Basil of the Asphenus would be a really fucking great one to take after him. Especially the Asphenus, because that is fire damage. And poison. Oh, that would be wonderfully nice. Yeah, maybe we'll get lucky. I mean, I, I going right to where a 
spider spooter is, so. I remember the only monsters that are resistant to fucking getting mounted are the uh, eight are the apex assholes. I definitely pissed off one monster by walking around there for a little while. Yeah, I see Sabina. Now the basil. Well, stay on standby, Josh. You're next to the basil and the gore. They might fight, or the cigar. Excuse me. Excuse me, and this. T t t t t t oh, they absolutely me. fought! Now get ready to take over somebody. Hi, Basil! Looks like you and I are going to be great friends for a little bit here. Come on! Come on, Basil, hold in there! There we go! Oh, you got a nice little fire in there. All right, one more good one. One more good one. And punish! You shall be punished. You done. Oh! Wow, it even flew away with the song. Oh no! Wait, it's still here. <laughs> Basil's not done. Uh, the speed is coming back. The speed is coming in. It's fucking me, isn't it? Oh, huh? They did the mash. This is the monster mash. Cause here comes another one, boss. I see it. Oh, come on! Hurry, hurry! Got ya. Come on, stick with me here a little bit. There we go. Ah, Punisher number two. Ooh, even got a paralyze on him. Yeah, that's in a spitter for you. Got a beam now, by the way. Really? Shit. Uh. Oh, it is furious with me. Not that I can't blame it. Now it's on me right now. It's targeting you. You know how much block I have, motherfucker. Try me. Oh. Thanks for the buff. Gotcha, bitch. Oh. So the fun fact is that he actually did hit me, but intrepid heart. <laughs> oh, he. There we go. Oh! Head break. Good job, you. Round two! Nice. Oh, shit. It's pissed. Make some distance, that's high explosions. No, he just punched you instead. He, he just slapped me. He was not having my crap anymore. 
Oh, well. Honestly, it's my fault. I should have kept going back to the spear birds after that. Eh, just also just try to make it a habit. Try to keep a far caster on you. That way, if you get in that kind of situation, if you have a moment, you just escape. Good point. Let's see. I should have far casters. It's an excited room and something else. I legit do forget, unfortunately. Ah, eh, no worries. I already had a few in my inventory. Okay, let's go ahead and, um... Oh, he's ulting. Or at least he's charging up anyways. That's terrifying. That's okay. <laughs> And I hear somebody is playing Link or Zelda. He come to town. He come to save the Princess Zelda. Gun took him away. Now the children will play. And Link will save the day. Hallelujah! Oh, Link. Fill up your hearts so you can feel your soul power. And when you're feeling yes, locked out, the fairy will come around. Okay. Think Go down in the history. <laughs> Somebody gave my sword the plague, though. No. Oh yeah, the plague. Oh yeah. That's don't no no don't, don't spoil too much right now. Granted, it's literally in the first few, few minutes, but yeah. Yeah, it's literally your opening cutscene. Yeah. I do gotta give them credit though. That it, they found a pretty decent way of debuffing you. Without being like, oh, it's a new game, so you don't have all anything anymore. It's like, no, you yeah. just... Yeah. yeah. I mean, it makes more sense than the shit that keep doing the Samus. Jesus, H. fucking Christ. <laughs> what? Well, Red, 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 Red kind of made sense. She literally got her shit kicked in. Come on, you don't believe in power amnesia? <laughs> okay, yeah. That was, a, that was a more interesting thing. Oh, I better get... Better get back to where you guys were so I can see if there's any drops I missed. I know there's drops I missed. Yeah, go for it. I got this. Apparently it was just a shard. Wow. Now he's ulting again. Also, I should say now, Circuit, I understand why last night you said you were, you hadn't got past the, um, you hadn't got past the fucking opening, um, tutorial level. Actually, I was kidding about that, but it really does take a while. Especially if you're doing the stuff that I'm doing. By the way, how many things are Building you... Building a tall ship. Yeah, how many are you able to connect before the game's just like, no? So what I counted on that was 19. What? That is... Talking Amiibos? No, no, no. Uh, well, I actually no. haven't tested the limits of that yet. But no, the uh, you can connect items together in the new Zelda oh, game. Oh, right, right, right. You can do the goofy people. You can make vehicles, make catapults, make a bunch of goofy ass shit. Yeah. So 19. basically, it's like it's nuts and bolts. Just now, it's Legend of Zelda. Yeah, Le Legend of Nuts and Bolts. Mm -hmm. The way some, some people are complaining oh. about it, you almost think that it was nuts and bolts. Yeah, no, it's not that complicated. And Unless it's you not want that... to make it that complicated. Well, no, it's not that nuts and bolts was fucking it's complicated. It's that fortunately there wasn't a Banjo Kazooie game. It was just a weird car vehicle battler game yeah. that just had you know Kazooie characters as the characters. You know, as the uh, cast. Another, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That would be another thing if you're comparing that to this, the uh, Tears of the Kingdom, because like, that's another thing is there is a Zelda game here. And the most of it is a Zelda game. It's just gonna crap weird crafting mechanics installed. Too. All right, let's see. And a lot of the crafting, it, a lot of the crafting I've encountered so far is complicated unless you want to make it complicated. See, what happened was they said build a raft with one sail and two or three logs that you were that you had kicking around. Instead, I cut down a forest and built a tall ship. <laughs> three nasty <laughs> ships. 
You just have fun with it. And, you know, that's the important thing. That, that's all. Yeah. I'm always about that. How, just have fun with the game. Oh, yeah, that's exactly. the whole point. And remember, have fun with it. Have fun. Oh. Yeah, at, that, at, that, at that point with it too, if anybody was complaining, it's like, no, you're doing this to yourself. Oh, there we go. It is literally a sale in two words. Oh. By the way, I don't know why, but for some reason I'm like loaded up with poison toads. Oh, wait. Toxic love. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. I don't know. Should we? Oh, there's one of the birds. Can you sleep it? You can, in fact, put the sleep. It's just you can't capture it. So, yeah, you can sleep Toad, but he might be, you know, he's not resting. He's not in skulls yet. No. We can't. I have sleep Toad. Yeah, okay. Now, that can't work. Just got to fucking get it on him. Do I have bombs? Yes, I do. Are you doing it? Oh, uh, wait a second first hand. No, no, I, I, I just saw, I just saw what was going on. I saw where you were going. Yeah, I just so happened to kind of luck out like that. I didn't know, I didn't know that, she, that it was back in the ride state. Yeah, this is better. This is much better. I'm heading over oh. there now. Oh no, I'm in the great emu war. Uh, I wish I wish I'd gotten the uh, materials necessary to get the camp here, but I haven't yet. Pause and play the stream again here. Oh yeah, so there's another thing I noticed with this, and like I haven't heard anybody from the front yet, to the back. I oh, what the hell? Can't imagine it. I can't imagine I'm the only one seeing it, and it's gonna take long with wow. the kingdom, which is. Uh -oh. Okay, at least some damage got done, but wow, he ulted and dodged the uh, the Punisher. Wow. Because it gave him the eye, it gave him the eye frames. Well, that was a good time to sleep bomb him. You got the sleeping ready? I don't have a sleep. I don't have a sleep toad. I mean, I oh, mean, you got the bombs ready. Yeah, I've got bombs at the ready. You just gotta get him to fucking. He's, he's looking at me. Over here, over here. I know, I'm trying. Oh, I think he's in it. He's in it. Uh, no, wait. No, he wasn't in it long enough. It was fading. Damn it. Yeah, but I didn't try. Ugh. Well, the temp was made. Yeah, well, the temp was in fact made. Oh, I think I got him on a poison toad. It's targeting you. It's like a poison toad. Damn it! Sorry. No, it's okay. Well, I got greedy. Well, the thing is, it won't stack. The first one you hit him was uh, is the ailment. It won't like double it up or increase the poison. Yeah, it's based okay. on your weapon and other mods and shit. Also, I was probably poisoning him a chunk of the time, too, because my weapon does have a slight ability to poison. Good job, by the way. Yeah. Only one death. And granted, yep. this guy is a beast and a half, so that's that's respectable. Yeah. Ooh! Gave me a mantle. I got a shiny mantle the first time I fought this thing. Oh, is Off that the what floor. the S is? Oh, no. Yep. Uh, yeah. The Skushigaru mantle, yeah. Yes, you got yeah, the little shiny, the little shinies on the ground. I've actually got a mantle from that. Oh, shiny mantle. That. Okay, yeah, that is. Yeah, cool, from though. the floor, I got a floor mantle from this thing. The first time I fought, I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shiny thing on the ground. And it was a okay. cortex. Hang time. <laughs> Yes, I am alive. You did it. Ooh, pretty. That's not ominous at all. 
Totally. Totally. Terrible. What's up, Doc? These creatures consume life. Context. I need context. Ooh, I got another mantle. Okay, I'll go with another mantle. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm just hearing, who, who, who. I was like, what the hell? Oh, right. He's playing Zelda. Oh, right. I get the volume down here a bit, too. <laughs> no, it's okay. It just caught me so off guard. <laughs> I have a report from Dr. Tadori. These things are fucked. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So, let's see. It's because they are with the host. That they're really going out now. Engineaths are no snack. The cure will mean business. But why now? What kind of all start up and hunt for food? First, they're surviving autonomously. Second, they found a new host. Oh, yeah, that is true. True. What would the ho- Oh, no. Another host. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. oh, could you imagine a basil being a host to those things? Oh, they are. That's what the anomalous hunts are. Oh, oh well, okay then. Well, my meow scenarios, my Argosi, I got a sale going up. Wow, they just, I just got loaded up here. Sure to find a bargain today. Well done. Nice, look at all those points. Ooh, got some good drugs there. As always, thank you. All right, what do we got for my meow scenarios? Ooh, we'll do that. Get a double double bone special in there. Um. Okay, now I'm slightly curious because I got a few of these apparently. A uh, locked treasure chest. Oh. Those are just resources. The shit you can sell, I believe. Oh. Well, I don't that's... think you could actually do anything with them. Oh, that's so cool. It's money. Yeah, it's free money, man. Alright, now to do the talk around the world. Because everybody wants to say hi to me now. It's cash money. So now we have three new ones. Uh, leave no trace, frozen dictator, evil forest, or cloaked in darkness. No, well, you had one of them right. Well, two of them right. Leave no trace, uh, frozen dictator, and firm brighter than the sun. Brighter than the sun. Actually, we'll see that one. Brighter than the sun. You're about to see it now. Oh, weird. Yeah, I don't think I saw the basil one. Or I saw the uh, toaster one. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, a water weapon would be better, but fuck it, we'll bring ice because I don't feel like swapping and I like my ice weapon better than my water weapon. <laughs> Let's see, I might have a water blade available at the ready. 
I say might because it also is kind of a funky blade. Oh, no, I haven't... I haven't been able to get it up there yet. It's the fish blade, and I need a spear too. I need two spear to us. Okay, hold on. Let, let's see. What do I got in water weapons? Anything that I can? Oh, Diabolos. Okay. Anyway, uh, what do we got? I'll put everything Master Hammond taught me to good use. I can sling whatever you need. Okay. Here we go. Um, what do we got in this one? Oh. Oh, so close! I, I could get it to I could get it to Clutch of the Deep, but not to Clutch of the Deep Plus, and ah, uh, that would have been so easy. Okay, what do we got else here? That's Impact. It's also Impact. That's Ice, baby. Hmm. It's impact. Shape. Ah. This feels like a bad idea, but we'll just see how it goes. No, 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 damn it. I fell off the boat. How are we doing today? Oh, there goes all that stuff. Quest going on there. Oh, thanks. So I'm just setting up my uh, farm for the uh, for some adamant seeds. I got a bunch of mite seeds. And I'm getting adamant seeds. Let's do our best. That's all right. I'm running back and forth, going to all the new quest markers I have. Doing all right. Let's go for it. I'm gonna go check the nest up there real quick. See you later. All right. And I got all my questy marks. Ooh, wait, can I? No, I don't think my master. No, my master rank hasn't changed, so I can't upgrade the armor yet. Yep, you gotta wait for some armor, some certain fights and shit. Good to go. Wait, I didn't get food yet. Yeah, it'd be a good idea. Consider what about the fight. Yeah. Time to, time for history to come back to haunt me. Okay. Toaster. From world. I don't, I don't remember the toaster ever giving you that much trouble. The Nestor, on the other hand, I can definitely imagine giving you a lot of trouble. Oh, I, d I didn't say it gave me too much trouble, but it's still history. <laughs> it's still a painful one. I don't know, I think the Kieran gave you more trouble than any of them did. Oh, yeah. No, the, the Karen was another thing entirely, but we all knew that. <laughs> Imagine Let's a... Let's Thank you. Imagine a truly angry horse that also very much like to use electricity. Very shocky horse. And we fought it for like 30 fucking minutes. We had two other randoms join us who just wouldn't stop dying. Uh... <laughs> Just every time they just suddenly died. Oh, there they go. It's okay, I got insurance. Oh, there it goes. Well, no, remember, we were on the infinite hut mode, so it didn't matter how many times I went down. Oh, yeah, that's all right. That's the only reason why it was able to be funny. <laughs> I would feel like, man, they must really want that fucking, uh, that one buff for fainting twice. Fun fact, that buff, that buff only lasts an hour, and after it goes away, you cannot get it back. 
Oh, so it's a one and done situation. Yeah, but it lasts like a fucking hour, which is just kind of funny. I imagine you could technically make it last two hours if you faint once, don't faint again, and then get the other half of the fortify buff. <laughs> but yeah, no. Fucking legitimately go to do shit. Abe would faint himself just to get the buff, and then we proceed to hunt. Only problem is, but doesn't that kind of mess with the rewards anyway? No, in guiding, no. If you're just running around in guiding lands, you just went after whatever the fuck showed up. Oh right. Remember, guiding lands usually didn't have a lot of like procedural hunt, procedural hunting. It was just literally, you know, pick a target, go. You know, someone if there happens to be a target there, you know, go in. Go in, fight whatever shows up. As a rose, take me home. Ooh. Uh oh, I think we're about to get some fun going. Yeah, just be nearby to grab whoever. I've not picked up a single attack, but Jesus. Really? Okay, huh? we're going to use you first then for a little bit. Let's go. Toast toaster went down first. He went down first. Yeah, smack the other uh, one for some parts and slam him into him. I'm trying to. God damn it, Diablos. There. Done. Listen, you little angry. You're going the right way for a smack bottom if you don't fuck off. your time no daddy no <laughs> oh shush oh son of a bitch oh he is not happy with me no, he's not. And the unfortunate thing is, I've got to be right back because I did fucking bring the right weapon. I forgot. I thought I switched my ice one, and I didn't. Got it. Self preservation mode. Problem with weapon camos, you can't forget to switch out shit. Be back. Hey, welcome back. That's a whole little combo he does. Try me. Oh, 
Oh, I was on the edge of that one. Thank you, Intrepid Heart. He's fixing. Double healing field. Double eating field. Oh, you went down to the land between, literally. Of course he would. I come from a land down under. What's up, bitch? Ah. Thanks for the buff. Good. Hey, bring some fire over there. We could have uh, bo hard-boiled eggs. Or fried eggs, I guess. He literally just put a fireball on top of it, so... Whoa! Same thumber. Really? Fault of the king. Damn you. Oh, he just knocked himself out. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, please do. Love doing free damage to you. All right, he roared, so Intrepid Heart went off. In the bag. It's after you. Hi, Dibby Dob. How you doing? Bye, Dibby Dob. Plus, it's not gone. Is it still here? It's still here. Granted, I blinded it, so it's probably a little pissed right now. That was a head break. It was. It was a head break. Let's go. Oh no! Oh, it's problematic. Ah. <laughs> I'm okay. I don't know if it's me, but weren't the fire effects better in World or? Yes, it's because they're also trying to have him to have a different motif now. Fair enough. Just but oh. yes, uh, flatly saying yes, everything was better than world. Well, not everything. The dogs are awesome. 
Eh, true. But you were able to tell the dogs to go use your quote unquote mounts to go on autopilot though back in World 2. So you can really focus on doing your stuff and not having to, you know. No, that, that was true. Also, no spirit birds. So, you know. Nah, I get no it. Waste, you know, no wasting five fucking minutes if you don't roll all your birds and, and, you know, all your birds immediately. Nah, uh, I'm I'm not a, I'm not do, I'm not comp, uh, I'm not disagreeing with you in any way. World definitely was is the better of the two, but you know there's still. I will agree on the loading screen thing because it did take a hot fucking minute for that game to load. But oh, yeah. eh, what are you gonna do? Wait. Yeah, the loading screen it, that the vast improvement there that is crazy. But considering everything that that this game has, not surprising either. Considering what it was built for, yeah, not surprising. I said, like, this game does fucking suffer because of the Switch port. Well, here's hoping that the next game is the better. Just be PC focused. They're saying they're going to focus on PC first, so I hope that means the next Monster Hunter game is a PC focused game, which means no dumb ideas or no none of this anymore. All the mechanics of this game feel great. It's artistic style is lacking. Like I said, I hate I hate how barren all the starting levels really are. The only one that kind of is okay to be like it is is some parts of the fire level. And that's kind of it. The uh, jungle, uh, the little flooded forest, they don't do too bad of a job making it feel like it's kind of alive, but everywhere else, this area especially, screams the old you know 3ds style you know yeah it's just open a... space oh weirdly open spaces with no fucking life in them like legitimately like i had there's part of me that had fun recognizing certain rooms for their um you know, they all had their own little set pieces to a lot of the rooms that kind of made them stick uh, stuck out back in world. Plus, you know, the environmental traps were hilarious. You know, dropping rocks on the motherfucker or them running themselves into a net. Oh, those are so much fun. So, you know, uh, the waterfall, the launching them down the waterfall in the forest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <'cause, like, laughs> fucking down waterfalls and shit. Like, no, like the environment, like mechanically for how you're fighting in this game, this game is superior to world like it is fun i still think the slinger is a little bit better i did love that whole tenderized mechanic so you know you you're well you can always you can turn any spot in, on a monster into a weak spot which is fucking fantastic mm, absolutely but like the movement in this game is a lot better it's a lot more free but you know artistically this world sucks this game <laughs> sucks like every monster here would look ten times better if they're in Good. you give them the same graphical fidelity that they had in world. Everything was beautiful in fucking world. Yeah. Especially especially the Teostra and Lunestra. Holy shit, they are very pretty. Terrifying, but pretty. Terrifyingly pretty. Ooh, Elder Dragon Gem. It's a pretty common drop for them. Oh well, let me have my happiness. But you're probably not wrong. You you will be drowning in them, in my friend. I know. It's just, it's just kind of funny. It's like, the, ooh, I found the penny. How, how lucky is that? And then, like, three weeks later, he's just surrounded by them. Yeah, no, that's literally what's going to happen. Like, once you start doing the hunts that I'm on, if you play long enough to get to that fucking point, it'll be, I'm drowning in these things. What do I do with them? I'm having a sale today. Would you like to... Wow, excellent. Wow, that's a... Bunch. Ooh, catalyst and an espinas statue. Not oh, nice. As always, thank you. I'm hoping for a fucking Luna Garing statue eventually. Cause I got I got a gargle one. I got one for um 
Belkana. And I got one for the for the uh, bugaboo that we're get, we're trying to get you to fight right now. Uh, here's another bugaboo we're about to fight. I'll be checking a second on fish things. Oh, farm things. Also, I do hate that we only have one farm system in this fucking game. It does suck. I guess they did kind of get rid of the fishing system that was Time to go. in World 2 as well, but... Uh, I did, I do kind of like the fishing system here a little bit better. Well, back in Tried, I believe four, you literally had a fisher that would go out and do everything for you. You didn't have to have everything on the Argosi. Ah, okay, that's fair. I would probably it would be evened out if they went with six instead of just three. Because literally, you had back in Try, you had the bug farm, the farm. Actually, I might be getting those confused. They actually, been, they may have been combined as well. But as far as I know, there was a farm, a bug farm, a fishing net, or a fishing uh, fisherman, and the Argosy. So you had at least three or four different ways of getting shit. Thunder weapon or a poison weapon with a little bit of fire. I'm going to bring the poison weapon. Fire doesn't work the best, but it does work okay against it. Ooh, we still gotta get that key blade at some point. Yeah, no, that that set does work well with going with the elemental uh, setup that we were talking about. Well, plus, it's just fun to make things explode. Did somebody say kaboom? Ain't nothing I can't forge. Boom. Right, let uh, me check my items real quick. Right. How the hell did I not get a single Tealster claw? Uh, we didn't break his. We didn't break his uh, claws. We didn't break his arms. Oh, you know what? I we, asked. We, we, we genuinely were mostly doing damage to his face. I asked and answered. I own it. I asked. <laughs> Ask yeah, a silly I question. Get a straightforward answer. answer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That wasn't a silly in that at all, just straightforward. Alright. All right. And now it is time for the other 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 monster hunter. Ooh. I wonder. Hey, how you doing guy? Thank you. Oh god, I thought that was something else! Freaking monster scared the life out of me for a moment. I I, I couldn't I, I couldn't only wonder what the fuck a summon can't make you think it is, but okay. I know I was just hearing the something that I've never heard before and I'm just like what the hell is and oh yeah, I see it. I just see it down there like waving its head like it was trying to audition for American Idol. So it's like, oh you're you're the one making the noise. Josh over here being NBC. What's that sound? Hmm, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. We're gonna snag you, my little poison friend. Yeah, because poison does work on him. Surprisingly well. Ooh, this will be a treat. Most of my buffs, so I definitely want to grab a few more. 
Even if I'm beyond this thing now, I still try to give these things some fucking respect because you get cocky as when you get slapped. Absolutely, I absolutely agree. And again, it's only because experience has taught me very painfully well. Mm-hmm. Also, you're just that stupid, like fucking half the impatient motherfuckers I see. I don't know. I really should stop trying to rag on people like that. It's it's not their fault. The system sucks. Yeah, but I get the bird's it. Birds definitely. I don't like. I said I don't. The bracelet system's okay. I don't mind it. I don't hate it. The bird part of it, that can fuck off and never return. Yeah. Everything else though, cool. It kind of works out pretty well. The birds fuck off and die. Yeah, the bird just feels like artificial padding. It really is. It's just, I don't know. It, it, I don't know. Like, fucking oh, shit. people, like. Yeah, he's there, by the way. <laughs> just walk away. Yeah, like, I, I heard, you know, people complain, like, oh, the world is too comp, you know, world's biomes are a little too complex, a little easy to get lost. I don't like following the fucking, the scout flies. And I'm like, I'm half on the fence with the scout flies. I thought they were cute, you know, Monster Hunter actually, you know, hunting the monster, tracking it down. I thought it was an you okay know, Doing gimmick. the hunter part. You know, it was okay. I could definitely see where it could be annoying, especially because you would lose, um... You, if you're trying to capture, you know, you had to get so much information on the monster to be able to know if they're capturable and shit. Like, that part of it I could definitely understand people being a, being a little bit meh with. But, um... You know, I'd rather have a, like I said, you know, people complain about that, but you know, this shit here, you know, I literally have multiple times just see people, you know, this game tries to force you to run around the map to grab these stupid ass birds, and I've just seen, you know, even if it's only happened ten times, that's ten, that's nine times too many of just, you know, I've said this before, people just running in and getting killed because they didn't want to waste the time to get those buffs. We do have like a medium kind of answer because the uh, the hunts that we're trying to get you to, they can spawn in the arena and therefore you'll have the super bird. So, you know, you know, like I said, I think I told you what the trade off was. You know, you'll have the super bird, no running around and fucking around or anything, but it's just you and the monster in the small arena. Oh, we got caught. We got incoming. Yep, I see Bubble Fox. Dangiest of things. Oh, he saw it too. Meep meep. Meep meep. Let's go. For the Polish, showed him. Round two. <clears throat> What's up? How you doing, Rusty Nose? Oh, this is not a Rusty Cruise. It just has a Rusty Nose. <laughs> that is a subspecies, Russian Crucial Adora. Oh, did not know that. I just remember you, you, the you, you didn't play. You didn't play much of uh, uh, Tunnel World, did you? Or not World, but uh, Four. And he leaves. Not a, leave? Well, I don't remember a lot of Four either at times. No, I do. I, I do remember we, the to fun be fair, times. You know, one good game still. Very fucking good game. No, we had um, a lot of fun, and I do also the fun we had. It was also the it was also the game that you know made D stop bitching about the Monster Hunter games. Well, that the la the laundry it was a laundromat game that we would play. Yeah, it was a laundromat game. We would fucking when we first fucking all moved all moved in, we didn't have those fucking. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if those stupid washing machines we got were ever any better. They weren't, considering they're not working now, so... Yeah, yeah I know. I still can't believe that shit that they wouldn't fucking take and get them out because of the stupid banister. 
Uh, oh shit, no, problem, no, That's the problem with contract work sometimes. I mean, I'd be okay if there was at least a stipulation that would say it you can't have this or they won't deliver, but... Yeah, nothing. no, the, fa the fact that it was like, no, I can't do it. Uh, some depot's lost. Was it, was it specifically because the fucking banister or was it because it was actually a step going down? It was the banister. The banister was just a little too short so they would have to lift it up over it. And if they have to lift it up over two feet, it's a no-go. And that's it. But it's gotta be like a clear path for some reason. Mm. Dude, I whole ass. In your case, I would've just done some stupid ass shit. Take out the banister and get some metal rods and just make a new banister that you can literally uninstall whenever we had to move shit down there. Yeah, uh, but the only problem is I don't know just how deep that banister is in there or how to Well, the thing it. is, the trick to do isn't so much um, pulling it out. It'd be literally cutting it off at the base and ma making a, um, basically an adapter to make it where you can just, you know, pop a few, um, well, several, because you probably want to put one for each leg. The only, the only, the only trick that you'd have to do is just measure out, you know, measure out, find someone who could, you know, do the metal work. Yeah, I would say go with a metal one this time, and just make a metal railing that you can pull on and off. That way, this can't happen again. Uh, maybe, but the only concern I have is it feels like a good chunk of the banister is under the carpet, so I would probably have to also rip. Well, off. the thing, the thing. Well, you may ask for this ask permission. All right, because you are technically. Are you with me? What? Like, what do you get? What do you? What, what do you mean you would have to ask for? Because what I'm talking about is like taking like six inches above, just cut six inches above the very bottom of the base, and like make an adapter piece or some shit like that. It's the most jury rigged thing I think I've ever said in my fucking life, but it could work. Uh, also, that thing's been torn to shit by glitched by glitched anyways by now, so you know that thing kind of needs to go. Fair enough, but it's really it's just all everything else around it that I'm more concerned with. Yeah, no, I hear you. Well, I'm, that's for the, that's for a future circuit. Well, let's say like if you ever if you ever get that thing sorted out, that means you know you have just you know oh hey we got to bring something in. Just literally take pop a few uh, whatever bolt thing system you use to lock it in. Slide it up, put it off to the side, and there you go. You know. Yeah. Because really, that banister got in the way of yeah. moving so much shit. It, it really was in the way a lot. By the way, told me you took my room, you motherfucker. <laughs> I didn't take it, per se. I just needed an office space, and it was available. You gotta say, if I ever end up doing moving back there, motherfucker, you better move to the other room that used to be Nate's room. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> if. No, seriously, in all seriousness, if, if he did end up ever moving back, I would vacate the room and... Oh, shit, shit, shit. Get over there, get over there, get over there. Because I still have to sharpen, I forgot to do it. Got it. I forgot to do it, too, but... Yeah, no, we didn't realize she was there causing havoc. Now, granted... They're not going to get a ton, ton of damage because she's an ice type, he's an ice type. You know how that works. Yeah, it's not cool. <laughs> or... uh, free damage okay. is free damage. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say, no, it's still free damage. We're not going to get any real cute debuff. Well, no, we might still get the debuffs. Shit, shit, shit. The... No, 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 no. Hold it. No, nah, damn it. Yeah, no, Song the Canth kind of sucks, dude. It was an inch away. Literally, there was a sliver. It's okay. We still get our chance anyways. Because I said so. This is why I keep spiders. He's strapped to the monstrosity. Oh, no. Unfortunately, I had to use that moment to sharpen. It's okay. Some damage still got out. I'm 
Bump to the back. Oh no, no, it didn't work. Alright, now I can do double hop. The big windbag. <laughs> I just blocked that entire fucking windstorm. I was technically able to get out, but man, it wasn't pretty. Oh, you got the frosty buff. That that's gotta suck. It means your bugs on a hell of a long cooldown because they're they get afflicted by the ice now instead of your stamina. Which was kind of a good thing. I will admit, I never understood why we have two stamina specific debuffs. So it's kind of cool how they made ice affect the wire bugs instead. It still sucks to have happen, obviously, but it is cool. I honestly couldn't tell what affected what. Basically, if you get frozen, your bugs take way, like, they take at least twice as long to uh, reload. You know, it's for your escapes or any of your techniques and shit. So Ice Blight is right dangerous. In previous games, it just super chunked your stamina really, really fast. It, it would start making it lower. Yeah. God, can we take you to the final hunt now, please? Think this is, this is all be boring it. baby hunts. We need to get to the big stuff. <laughs> the this hunt, baby this hunts. This is all the hunts for little girly babies. Did you put hair on your chest? I know to put hair on your chest. We need to put hair on our elbows and knees. We need the really hot toes. Knees and toes, knees and toes. Toes. Howdy, <laughs> howdy, knees and toes. <laughs> oh my god. This is going weird places today. Why not? I don't know, I just woke up. What's your excuse? I, I got need in the stomach. <laughs> I, I don't know if that works, but okay. Uh, I thought I was Dragon Ball Bridge, for quote. I, I don't even remember that one. Like all, I, all, all, I, all, all I can truly remember is <laughs> that's why I can kick me in my dick. I can't it... believe all of them kept kicking you in the dick. <laughs> I got... <laughs> wow, Man. that's a lot of day origins. For my dick. <laughs> but yeah, no, just like, uh, I got bitch slapped through a house. What's your excuse? I got need in the stomach. <laughs> 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 Uh, that's fun. And now the story. The gathering at the Citadel. Again? It says this place is cursed. <laughs> yes. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, sorry, Admiral. I insulted apparently the piece of rubble that's your home now. The Archdemon, Archdemon of the Abyss. Finally, bring dragon. Fill the darkness to surface. Or bring fire. I see. Uh. Wow, his home is cursed. Jeez. Hmm. Let's see. Can I upgrade my weapon at all? No, I was just short of being able to upgrade to the next to last slot. Okay. Oh well, it should do fine for this. Uh. Oh right, the really shitty quests. 
Remember where I said there's that one or one particular quest where they just you get literally nothing to work with? Yeah, yeah. welcome to that quest. This, yeah, this, this feels this feels like a setup. Just, I'm just saying. So wait, we beat the crap out of this thing is, already. What this actually is is they're trying to give you a precursor to what you're going to be hunting for the most part after you get done with the story here. Oh, fun. Yeah, but it's like the most half-assed precursor I've ever seen in my goddamn life. So, word of the wise, we cannot capture this thing. We still put it in pits, but we cannot capture it. Got it. You can drive it crazy, but don't expect to capture. Mm-hmm. Because I believe it still is anomalous enough to not be a capturable quest. Because I think your cat won't even say we can capture it. Which is kind of a nice tell to you know if a monster is actually a capturable one and all. Oh. Yeah, you notice look up oh. there? Where's our spirit bird? Attack! No, I got it. I, fig I just figured it out. Those, bl those bloodsuckers literally... Oh, wow. Yeah, the implication is the little bastards wit. The little bastards found a host and they also just ate everything. Yeah. Including our spirit birds and buff and our buff animals. I'll give them credit. They put up a hell of an atmosphere. I, well, no, this is an asinine quest. This only happens this one fucking time. It's and still it's... It's stupid. Like, literally, whoever programmed this fucked up severely because they killed everything on the map, including our buff bugs. You have to pray the bush gives you something. Oh. Yeah. That's why you're have... attacking the bushes. Yeah, that's why I'm calling this quest a bunch of fucking bullshit. It's the worst fucking one in the game. They better never do one like this again because this is asshole. I still kind of like the atmosphere, though, but I get It's an yeah, interesting get... atmosphere, yeah. but it literally makes this quest a fucking pain in the ass. No, I, I get you, and I, I agree with that. I can part. roll with it better than you can right now because I'm where I'm at in my terms of power scaling, but yeah. Coming through here, having to spend five minutes praying for something from the bush? No, this quest is asinine. It's really shitty they should be ashamed of this quest. Bad and you should feel bad about this quest. Yeah, no, they really should. It probably wouldn't be so bad if the wolf also had some weakness to it. But maybe. <laughs> they don't even do that part right. So, basically, what's supposed to happen? You remember when we fought Malzina where he had those glowing spots that when we hit, when we broke them, they did a little bit of extra damage to him? Uh, I believe so, yeah. So, yeah. basically, anomalous monsters will all have, except for this motherfucker, will all have that specific trait. Uh, Is that when they get pissed off, they'll gain glowing spots that you crack for bonus damage. They look like they killed us an ogre to show it's scary, this thing. Was, ooh. But fucking... He doesn't do that. The only thing he does... I believe is give you the blood the uh, the blood blight effect, which is the one where you know you get attacked to get your health back. Which I suppose is what they're trying to impose in this quest is that you know when you have that thing you have to attack you know you got to play Bloodborne, but it's still asinine. It's stupid. Like going this far, we don't have any of our bugs, we don't have any of the helper animals, nothing. It's just us and whatever we get to find in the bush, monkey in the bush. Probably a good thing I also have those powders too. Yeah, I know. The powders are powders, full heals, anything that nature will help because whatever we get from whatever we get from slapping around the bushes is all we're getting. Also means no spiders. No, not the spiders. And if you hadn't guessed, no other monster is going to spawn in the entirety of this quest. I imagine they wouldn't. Uh, it just seems like a really, fu really f good at foreboding atmosphere. Just badly they fucked it up. Badly they set, fucked it up. Yeah. Like instead of like figuring out a way, the, the simple thing, 
that would have made this quest just make, keep me from bitching about it as hard as I'm bitching about this fucking quest. Like, I didn't, I didn't even faint the first time through or anything. I didn't lose this quest or anything. I got through it. But I still think it's just fucking asinine how because someone didn't fucking think two steps ahead, you know, about the system that we're have forced to deal with these stupid birds, this quest literally punishes you for just playing the fucking game. And I'm glad it never re the like head again. It only needs to do that one time, you know what they say. Yeah. You only need to fuck up one time to leave a really bad impression. Ow. Oh, crap. My stream's frozen again. That's okay. We're in a nice area. <laughs> I'm heading to a nice area, just cooking up some hot foods. But you know, this whole like all the like I still would have thought this was asinine. This whole thing would have been would have been clear by the simple fact that okay, we'll carry everything on the map. Oh wait, what if that kills all the birds? Uh, put down a super bird. That would have fixed the entire fucking problem. We don't even have the little wall traps. Those little half-ass makeups for the fact that we don't have the uh, environmental traps. They're gone too. I'm okay. fucking surprised they didn't end up killing off our our fucking quick travel bugs. That would have, uh, admittedly, that that would have been putting way too much emphasis on trying to scare the living hell out of you for this. I would have given some kudos on actually having the balls. Yeah, no, like I said, just I don't know. I don't know why. It, for I don't know why it's just their their specific thing is okay cool we'll put in a kill command make sure nothing can spawn and shit just like I said just it's lazy stupid and it makes the players suffer. And it's just bad game design. That's about all the fucking bushes that I know about in this fucking hell escape fucking stupid ass quest. This is all I got to work with, and I guess this is what I work with. Time to ration up then. Let's get some powders ready. Funny enough, that's probably the worst item to have in this level now, too. Hmm. Dunk. Going? Yeah, no. Well, I mean, unless you need to really just get him, get him to go away. But, oh. yeah, no. Yeah, there's, no, there's nothing else to really hit besides him. Wow, well, ice cave entrance and everything. Granted, I'm sure this wasn't intentional, but <laughs> it really does sell it. Fell too far. Fell too far and went too hard. You're the target. Thank 
Also, is it to save the line? I keep putting coins into the Zelda gacha machine, but all I get is these fans. Oh yeah, the gacha machine. Yeah, that wasn't as crazy as I thought people were making it out to be. There's a gacha machine now in Zelda? Kind of. You basically just so, get... Go ahead. Yeah, so, yeah, no, so, um, there's certain items that, well, actually, there's certain items that A, existed in the other Zelda games, and B, or, uh, existed in Breath of the Wild, and B, exist in this game, that you might need, that you might not be able to find in the area you're in, so, like, the fans to make stuff go forward, or, or, like, a cooking pot to cook at, right? And you can put materials into these machines that basically put out capsules like a gut like a gotcha machine right mm. and the capsules they put out contain like portable cooking pots that are one-time use and stuff like that targeting you. a little silly but uh, it's buttons. silly but it's with materials that you get in massive oh, abundance so. yeah no i guess it's like yeah. hard to complain about that is a little weird though yeah I got for that key. Not sure about the flame emitters, I have, but I haven't account encountered them anywhere else yet either, so. But like, they make, they're the type of world this is, they make sense, it's just like, they're not as needed as you'd think they are. They are nice for, like, emergency situations in some cases. Yeah. Goodbye! Like a lot of the material, a lot of the materials in these areas, anyways, they either. One of the nice things that the game at least does at this point is that if you've got an area where you're gonna need like a one of an item, like say, well, I'm doing it right now. Say you're gonna need a minecart with a fan attached to it. The game usually makes sure there are two minecarts and two fans in that area. Yeah, it's usually pretty good about give, keeping supplies around in case you need it. Though I wish there was a way to... I, wish, I haven't figured it out, but I wish there was a way to reset. you got to go far enough. No, I have done it several times. Oh. Well, I, it, was oh, yeah, one of, it was a couple of situations I couldn't go far enough. Because I was, like, on oh. an island, and I accidentally... All my attempts had caused all the items to fall off of it. So I had no way to get back. Yeah, no, that does suck. There's like, there's a range that you can go out, but yeah, no, if you're stuck on an island, you're stuck on an island. After you. And as far as I know, well, I guess at that point, the, like, the portable fans would be useful. Well, it was in the, it was in the early um, tutorial stages, and admittedly, I also learned I'm an idiot in a few cases. Did it just turn red and angry? I think I've had that a couple times. Yes, I was sorry. I was gonna make a comment about that, but a fucking roach crawled onto my desk, and I had to, you know, excise that thing's existence. Yeah, and uh, that that would definitely be more important. Anyway, um, so what do we do with the jolly red wolfie? Uh, kill. Yay, red rocket, Sparky. Oh. So no. <laughs> basically, like I said, that that whole turning red, getting angry thing, that it, that second, you know, going going red and getting angry again thing is literally how anomalous monsters work, because they have two stages of rage. Crazy <laughs> spider with red rockets, except my <laughs> I mean, equally, you could also set some like Clifford the Big Weird Dog. Ooh, even better. Actually, I like that more. Oh, God. Sorry, it's taking me a second. I went ahead to go wash my hands off. It was not a clean kill. Oh, Fucking the bastards! That's all right. Ugh, the joy is living back in the south. That's why I'm in the back. You know, you know what I mean. That's why my computer's covered with mesh. Yeah. Good news, though. We've almost gotten dead. 
Oh, is it? I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, be, like I said, like as much as I'm bitching about this, it's just because, like I said, you know, bad, you know, I'm definitely one of those horrible types of people where you make a bad impression, it fucking sticks, and this, this is just a shitty fucking quest. Yeah, uh, yeah, I get where your complaints are coming from. I just really like the atmosphere they give about the forebodingness of it all. The thing is, though, it's not even worth the foreboding. It's not a full anomalous monster. No, no, I get it. It's it's not worth it, and it doesn't. It, it base it's a fault. It's a false narrative, not false narrative, but uh, it just fucks everything up. Like yeah. it, it fucks with itself to try to make a fun. Like oh, these things are terrifying. You need to be scared of them. You're gonna be fighting a bunch of these, well, and like there's no other quest that's like this. And it, this is quest no, is no, not even look. unique in a good way. It's unique in a shitty way. I said, you know. Like I said, like the bigger issue is it's not so much they killed everything on the map, is that literally they killed what you need to buff yourself. So you're fighting a monster who has a buff mechanic attached to them while you're literally nerfed in the worst way that you could be in this game. Yeah. And like this will happen at no other point in this game. Like there's no other hunt that does exactly this ever again. And I'm just like was it was was it worth it like was that was there a decent point to this you know much like my bitch <laughs> <laughs> at least it's over yeah no it's thankfully it's a one and fucking done deal but it's unfortunately like i said it's just it's i said it just compounds that shitty nonsense i keep throwing at the when stupid bird system is consumed by darkness oh, that was a weird cut falls into chaos the archdemon of the abyss shall rise from the earth. But it's done. Don't have to worry about that ever fucking again, because like I said, just... It's cute, but they fucked up too many things for me to care for to have any love for that quest, or like I said, it just makes me hate the birds even worse. These wandering plants shall feed the beast and return to darkness. A story ends. Another begins. One Why does it keep cutting off on me? Huh? I see you found your home. And the audio what? keeps cut. The audio keeps skipping on me. Oh, that's fucking weird. You want to check the headset? Buddy. Um, and it's yeah, and it's um. So like your audio for a second sounded like it was cut out for us too, and Blake's no, he audio sounds fine has to me. not been cut out uh, for me. Oh, you that just chipped a, a little bit. Yeah, he, he did chip a little bit, but just that uh, barely. But no, my. Huh, that is weird. I'm hoping the thing is really starting to go nuts on my system here. Well, it's doing an intense amount of loading all of nowhere. Anyway, let's see what happens here. I haven't done yeah, anything stupid, have you? Pillars. Not in the last five minutes. What the? Oh, this doesn't look good. Tadori, what's going on here? Homing instinct. Yes. Are you ready for it fun times? They found the place they belong. Oh, they found their monster con. Homing instinct. <laughs> oh, it can't be. I'm gonna regret this in a second, but let's do it anyways. Kajura, Kajura. <laughs> I actually in the cutscene where the thing's trying to come out. It is coming out. Cool. Hallelujah, we're finally here. How can we? It's impossible. Oh, 
Oh no, yeah, no, this is a bad idea. Now we can take our Dragonator to see! <laughs> Here's my Dragonator! <laughs> Ouch. That hurt. No, that's Starbird, you morons! <laughs> now, full speed ahead! Full speed ahead! Give the captain a cookie! Giving the captain a cookie! <laughs> First and foremost, he's the Admiral, you son of a bitch. My audio is skipping. Yeah, uh, I uh, I'm Call trying to. Admiral Jack Sparrow. I love how play in your fucking room. Oh is. my god, he's got two Dragonators! Dragonators! One, two, ready! Screw you, New World. I have two Dragonators. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Really? Yes. Oh, I hate this. The audio is getting all garbled up. No, oh, no. <laughs> you might have to do a game restart or a stream restart. Something's gonna have to restart here, but what does that have to do right in the big scene moment? I mean, you can always rewatch the cutscene. If you I know, but it's really annoying. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be a stream without typical difficulty. Actually, the most hilarious thing is the sound effects and music are back, or they're behind. But all the vo voice is still on time. So it's amazingly wrong in the weirdest ways. Only it could happen with you, buddy. I know. I mean, he, he, the guy just yells out, FIRE! And then it's just complete silence. Then like five <laughs> seconds later, then you hear the boom, while the, the it already has gone off. <laughs> Here comes the boom, ready or not. I don't know why you're cheering, Hunter. You're going to be going down there, whether you like it or not. Want to try to reset the game real quick? Hold on, I... Okay, I'm gonna check a couple of quick things here, but it might, I might need to reset it. I might be able to also just quickly stop whatever process is going on that's causing this. Because I think something else is happening. Because my system is definitely pulling a lot more than it usually would on a day given. It's like a Steam update or something? Maybe, uh, I, hope, I don't think a Steam update would be like this, but maybe a, something major is updating or... Oh god, help me if the... Fire scanner decided to run at this point. Thanks to Everett Komoda, we were able to bring our double Dragonator hunting ship. Hmm. Like you mean triple? Yeah. I see. Hmm. Where are those pieces? Hmm. I mean, just worst case is, you know, restart the game. You shouldn't have to restart the stream. You just have to go through the loading screen again. Actually, no, this isn't too bad. Hmm. Okay, so basically, um, the the big Dracu monster was actually doing a turf war with an unseen enemy hmm. that no, we didn't know what was going on with. Uh -huh. hmm. No, basically what it boils down to, Malzino was its main enemy, but during the fight, the uh, Kuro started fucking with the Malzino because of how often they fought, so it also became a host of them, too. Alright, anyway, actually things may have quieted down a bit, so give me, okay, uh, everybody give me a quick second while I'm just checking things out real fast. 
Just gonna double check and make sure some of my fears aren't being confirmed. Okay, that's not. Okay. Uh, CPU is having a happy time of it now, but. Oh no, it's got more free space again. Okay, yeah, it looks like whatever was going on was just a com was just a product of bad timing. That sounds really fucking weird. I would definitely do a system check or a scan at some point after the stream. Yeah. Make us cry. Oh, ready to rock and roll when you when you get plugged up. I'm already working on it. Oh god, even this picture is just it just looks like it's slowly crawling out of the ground. That's the idea. I don't like the Make idea. Sure you... Make sure you eat. I'm eating. This what I would say you could put on open if you want, but I have no idea if anybody would actually join. Or it may take them a while to do so. Well, yeah, maybe yeah, we'll throw it, it out there anyway and see what happens. I don't know if there's a turtle or anything you could pick up at this camp. Because honestly, I've only fought this thing a hand, literally less than a handful of times, funnily enough. And I actually need to fight it way more because it's going to have a part I need to finish off my uh, build. Or my baseline build. Sorry, quick alteration. There we go. I, 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 I know, I know. Here we are, everybody. The final, the final monster of the expansion main storyline, because it is not the final monster by a long shot. Nope, we still have another one of those, at least. At least another two, anyways. Yeah. That so many find their faith here is nothing but an evil fate. They come rushing here in a desperate attempt to survive. Both beast and man have more in common than they think. From the depth, its voice can be heard. The time has come. From the depth, it beckons. Boy, what a sunshine. As it feeds on stolen life, its power grows ever stronger. Look up something. Until it finally reveals itself. Time. Let's right, grab your super bird. I have awakened. You're brimming with power. Let us we have a uh, yeah. to the kingdom. There's a turtle back here for the uh, yeah. Don't die, you know. Try to protect you from getting one shot. Ooh, I like a no one shotty turtle. Hey, it looks fun down there. We go. All right, then. Oh. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to do. It's targeting you. Really? <laughs> I couldn't tell. Couldn't tell that either. You better take 
Oh, that is interesting. Yep, if we do enough damage before it does that move, he'll knock himself out for us. My dragon eater. <laughs> I gotta sharpen real quick. All right, I'll keep the herd on for a little bit. I'm back already. Good because I need to sharpen now too. <laughs> Trevor Hart. Sit still, you oversized Gila monster. I would say I think Shara had a better set piece, but he's okay. After you. The target. We got a better super monster to fight later on. <laughs> oh, it does remind me of Soja in that regard. Huh? The main monster from World. Yeah, Shara Shvalba. Yeah.
alive. Get down there and give it all you got. Damn, there was a shiny I was trying to pick a fucking game. Oh, well. <laughs> it was a dragon scale for me. Here, I'm coming. <laughs> what targeting you? You don't belong under the sun's rays. And now it's super spooky. Oh, thanks for leaving the lantern bug for me to grab. I mean, I've got one built in, so. Still nice. Oh, no, 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 no. You're the target. It's off you. Yes. Enjoy your fire blight, you freaking giant gila monster. You hit him in the face. Now's the time to do it. Oh, it hit me in the face. He's hitting the tasty big soul. Oh, look at big soul. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, like that. Good job. Oh, Jesus. I think someone's joining. I think someone's actually joining because there was a bit of a lag there. You are absolutely right. No, it's not the problem. It's, it's the telltale of someone who's not a part of the uh, party group, uh, the part of the uh, group chat or uh, the group room uh, joining. Yeah. Running boss, running boss, put your weapon. Pick an arm. Uh, try to aim for the leftmost one if you can. Got it. Leftmost arm. Ouch. I'm on fire. I'll aim at the bullets. You worry about that. Oh, okay. You can't tell the random that, so. One of the popped. Move it! Run! Ah, that's what those items did. Feeling great! It's over with you! Ready for anything! I appreciate it. I'm Thank here you. to help. Thanks for coming. <laughs> You. Keep an eye on the I don't think it's actually possible to take to stop that particular move without having four people. Probably not wrong. This do the trick. Maybe with single player with the AIs it's possible. I mean, this one is actually fairly competent. I just mean, like, with them all of them working, there's a the tail. Good job, people. Oh, wow. You can break his tail. That's amazing. Nope. There's some monsters you can't. Wow, this is a bad time to sharpen my blade. I think there's certain monsters that just don't have a very big tail, too. Yeah, I'm gonna say, yeah, exactly. Shorty's right. Some monsters actually just don't have a tail you can really actually cut. Right. Like about all the tail you're gonna, the tail you're gonna cut on the fucking bear, bear rabbit. Yeah, the fucking Azurus. Shit, got knocked out there. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate it, buddy. That's the problem with shock proof. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
All right, he's getting ready to do the thing again. There we go. Gonna need some of this. One down. I think the idea is though, if you don't break enough of them, or you don't even break one of them, they'll be too big and you'll still get hit no matter what. So I think that move may still just go off no matter what. Well, it would make sense uh, considering having the blisters on the ground the entire time would be a bad move. Do those things explode? Yes, and I don't know if I'm going to live through this. I did. <laughs> so this is... <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I didn't have the guard, all the guard shit that I have, I wouldn't have, but... Hey, <laughs> guess what, bitch? I live, bitch. <laughs> Oh, this thing can't be good. Oh, I see. I broke off two parts just as it was getting up and sent it down for a second relapse. There's the music. <laughs> I like oh, it, it blew me up. 
blow you up on here. <laughs> oh wow, he died. It almost he almost lined back up with his no, tail. No, okay. <laughs> That's actually amazing. He's almost lined up with his fucking tail. That's really fucking funny. Mm. Extra screenshots of that. It's just very funny to me that it's almost lined up perfectly with the tail. It didn't get cut off. I'll help myself, thank you. Wow, so much dragon scale. Another mission well done. Job's done. Whoa, look. Oh, a lot more. <laughs> now for the cutscene to wrap it all up. I think. Yep. Yes. doing it seems like they're gonna make our lives a living hell oh never mind without their host it's all over One story ends, another begins. Where is the place of our return? It's an old song from the kingdom. It's as if all of this was foretold. Ooh, even got some Doomhorn in there. I think I unlocked a lot of things there. Uh huh. <laughs> uh. Now the ship back home. It's so quiet. It's good to see things return to normal. Do you think the Admiral could give me a three Dragonator ship? That would be so awesome. <laughs> you can't you can't solve all your problems with Dragonators. <laughs> but, but I can solve most of them. <laughs> Divorce attorney, dragon eater. <laughs> no hot soup, dragon eater. Out of chicken topping for pizza, drag. Well, I guess we could just uh, order pepperoni with a dragon eater. <laughs> uh. Silly Billy. Look at you, MR6. Woo. Yay! Four more, uh, four more, one four one more one ranks, one. and I can drag you into shit that you don't want to be a part of, but you need to be. I am utterly terrified, but it's probably gonna be a lot easier to get to those now. The story has ended. Yes and no. It is still a small grind, but once you start doing the a the a hunts, uh, the AR hunts, it will be. You you'll get there surprisingly quick. It won't take like an hour or anything. No, I, that like it's the same with the HR hunts. You know, once you get to a certain threshold, it just go. You kind of balloon, kind of. Oh yeah, it kind of escalates. Yeah. Speaking of which, I think that's how we're gonna wrap up the stream for tonight. We're wait. Oh, do I skip the credits? Do I enjoy the credits? Is it gonna do anything more than just show the scene with the ships? I, yeah. 
Okay, it's gonna show some scenery, but there is singing, so I'm gonna err on the side of caution on this one. Just in case Capcom does yeah. stupid. Yeah, just in case Capcom or somebody else. Hmm? Do we have to mention again the Ed Sheeran jump scare for Pokemon? No, we don't. <laughs> hmm. I mean, that, was, that wasn't too much of a jump scale for us because hmm. I knew about it. Yeah. Hmm. I know about it because our yeah. the games got jump scared. Alright. Well, let's go talk to our um, quest damsel. And everybody wants to talk to me now, but. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's not beating the game. Oh. He's just merely beating the DLC. Oh my god. Yeah. Huh. I think you got your wish. Master rank cap is now. Oh, that's a cap. Never mind. I'm sorry. I hope we can talk again soon. One does not simply beat Monster Hunter. But, however, that does remind me of one thing that we need to accomplish here to wrap up. We have a special for you. Swear to God, if the quest I think it is. Need to get a wood. Is not it... expecting that. Yeah. Held on to it for this time. What quest did you think it was, anyway? I thought it was going to be a goofball and bring up this Anogre quest again. As, as funny as that would absolutely be. No, nah, I figured it's not just watch, have, I think everybody see a rank go from set six to seven or to like crazy heights would be a lot more hilarious. I don't know if he'll get you that much. You might get at least one out of it. Really? I thought I, thought I but would But there, be... uh... Do you know, Vic, before you get started, though, can you see Bahari over here? Does he have anything for you? Yeah. Hold on, I just ate something. Where are we? Yeah. Basically, you should have Anomalous Hunts unlocked now. Hey there. You should. I don't remember if it has a requirement or not. See ya. Apparently, there's a requirement. You just gotta get the 10. Yep. Hi, and welcome to my shop. Okay, then. See you soon. Oh, new melding pot. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you should probably see if you can upgrade your armor more. Oh, oh right. Good luck. I'll I'll make it quick. See you soon. Hey, good to see you. I can. Alright, everybody, we're gonna quickly... Upgrade the armor here, just because it's funny to be completely- OH MY GOD! What happened? My game's from- It's a lot more than- it was a lot more than he expected it to be. <laughs> it's just, oh. I, I, I just thought, okay, I'll do the simple. I'll just press down so it'll go to the most that I can use to- uh, The most I need to upgrade the armor. It'll probably just be a, a quick four, that way I can just da 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 no, I press down and it gives me. It's using 134 of my heavy armor spears because I can crank this sucker up to level 31 now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's like, oh, wow, that is awesome, but that is not what I need. I, I, I don't want to do that right now. Yeah. So remember, I've said this before <laughs> prepare for money to go down the drain. Yeah. So but, uh, this is why you need to start making sure you're doing a her quest, the her sub quest for, uh, specifically. Because everything, this little everything that you can get from the uh, from Chica for the sub quest will give you a, a king armor spear. Yeah, I've gotten a couple of those too. Well, yeah. Well, you need to be doing more than a couple. Yeah, no, your rank uh, maxes out at 31, or yeah, T8, 31, T9, 30, and the uh, R10 armor stops at 29, but it's because, you know, it already has a jump start to begin with anyways. And that's before we start getting into the really, really, really wild shit. Ugh. Oh, no. Some people still need to talk to me real fast. Because there's a gotcha system they put in the Monster Hunter, and it makes you fucking broken if you know what you're looking for. 
and you've got the money and the materials to keep rolling. Keep rolling, rolling. Okay, up. Well, let me double check items, but I think I'm about ready to go. Yep. All ready to go. Just giving me a second. To wrap it all up, let's crack open my normal hunter rank. And find a monster I haven't even fought at all yet. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Even got the little cutscene going Desolated on. Ruins. A thief stalks through the mist. Driven by a lust for wealth, it just cannot resist. Be gone, O oh foul miscreant. For these are sacred grounds. The dead dwell here. This is their realm. And you've overstepped its bounds. I gotta admit, it's kind of funny that the cat was more concerned about getting its club back than the fact that it was flying in the air. So be mindful of your insolence. Oh boy, we get to fight a, an invisible monster. He's not that invisible. Yeah. I said invisible. So he's not that invisible. Oh, okay then. Fire weapons, by the way. Riser. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I mean, I figured. I'm just let. You, I figured. I was just letting you know the fire. You know, Camilus hates the shit out of fire. Ah, shut up and follow me. I'm on the Anjanath exercise. Where I get pissed off an Anjanath and then I run like hell. This is my <laughs> life now. Someone just starts playing the fucking Hanna Barbera running sound. <laughs> running sound. <laughs> Moser. I know this is only high rank, so I don't need to really give it too much respect. No! You... I can be this. I can be this. Mother... Good... Yeah. All that hard work. Angry. Angry. Angry tiresome words. Yeah. Ow! Oh. I hate you! <laughs> Oh good, it worked.
Yeah, come on, you flame belching beauty queen. I thought you were better than this. Impressive. I will get this off! So if you didn't know, he steals your powders when he hits you into something. You're the target. I don't get to know. It does suck, but it's way better than the alternative. He used to steal your items. Oh boy. Like, nothing like your charms, but, you know, your max potions, your high potions, all that shit. He could steal that shit from you. It's targeting you. I was gonna say, is he gonna bring that in or is he gonna push that out? The answer is he brought it in. He, he brought it in. I didn't even know that was an option. Yeah, well, fun thing, the, the super version of him that you fight later doesn't do that so much. Huh. You think you would do something like make a pulse just to really piss you off. The Risen version has its own version of things. Oh, right. Okay. What are you trying to do? This is Elder Dragon. It is? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you definitely never fought it before. <laughs> Jesus. You're gonna try to capture an Elder Dragon? <laughs> Actually, it was more funny. It's just like, it's an Elder Dragon. Oh, and I immediately just go back to Axe and take it out. <laughs> it's just... It's like, yeah, okay. I know. I figured that'd be the proper reaction. Like, no, this is an Elder Dragon. There, there is no capturing this thing. Not sure how, but yeah. Just somehow this thing is too much to be contained, apparently. Not sure how. He just spits poison. Which, yes, I guess is dangerous in and of its fucking self. Well, uh... They can also go invisible at a whim. And only when he puts on the mist. Oh, wait. Shinies over here. Don't forget the shinies. They got 20 seconds. Oh, <laughs> well, that was a fun little romp. And now HR barrier is broken as well. Now I have broken human resources. <laughs> it's easy to break human resources. Just post to Twitter. Alright. And there we go. I guess you could say you're probably done with Moss Hunter until we get you to the really super shit. Yep. <sighs> It's going to require some hefty grinding, doesn't it? A good little bit of it. They'll get a, once we get you to MR10, there'll be a bunch of urgent quests, oh. but they really don't have any stories except for one. And that one we can avoid doing for a good long while because I honestly don't think your armor build really can make use of it. I don't think so either. Oh. My, my, circuit, the job well done! You've slain the Camellios, an unequivocal testament of the love of that you just killed the beastie. And very quickly, too. Yo ho ho, I am getting with anticipation to see how much more you've become. <laughs> Make sure you get good and get that HR as high as you can. <laughs> I get paid every HR you get. Oh, I went to 20. Welcome to the hub. Not even surprised. 
You went immediately to your next cap. I know your HR is thirty. What are you talking about? I just literally unlocked thirty as I was talking to Minoto. So I went yeah. from I went from six to twenty to thirty. Well, your HR did. Your MR is completely different. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I was talking about the HR. I wish my MR went like that, but you'd probably be like, oh, God, no. Oh, no. I would laugh. No, I would laugh because it means it's time for you to see pain. <laughs> so we're going to have an urgent quest. We have a Kusadoria. You know, the, the higher, the, you know, the master rate thing we already fucking squashed a little bit ago. Oh, boy. That's, oh, boy. That's. Yep. However, obviously that is for another time. Until next time. Yep. So well, I don't know. We'll see if we go back with a different game or if we do some grinding out on the on the week. We'll see what happens. Yep. Especially with Zelda on the path on the war path for me now. Yeah. Yeah, I would just say indeed. wait a little bit because everybody's gonna be playing the shit out of that for a little while. Oh yeah. That's all to you on that one. <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna stream it. I'm, I'm personally I'm personally not buying it. I already bought it. I'm just gonna enjoy it for my own sake. Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I'm just not gonna be giving Nintendo any more fucking money if I can help it at this point. Cause fuck them. Oof. But no, it's fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So in any case, uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it all up here. And um, I hope you all had fun. We will be back with Monster Hunter either next next week or maybe sometime later after we do a lot of grinding and leveling. How would I work? Well, okay. You do grinding and leveling. I'm already there, motherfucker. Okay. Uh, would I rate <laughs> World versus Rise? Rise what? has some interesting mechanics. I do like the um, being able to zip around and really um, take advantage of the up and down aspects of everything. And I like the doggo. That being said, though, uh, World just has uh, has a lot more of a um, there's a better feel to it. Everything looks brighter, cleaner, more detailed. The monsters have a lot more presence, life, to them. life presence. I mean, it, it really. Ha I I like the motif here. I just wish I could have meshed it together. But I, I know. Well, to me, like I said, like. For me, like, you know, the main issue this game that makes it worse in world is just because the fact it was made for the Switch first, and that makes it a weaker game. It does. Cons that, like, yeah. mecha game mechanics-wise, feels fucking great. I will honestly say this is probably the most overpowered hunter I think you could ever make in the game. This is the strongest hunter character I've ever seen you be able to create. Fucking bar none. And you could do some stupid shit in world once you got far enough, but this one... Like I said, they've got some good monster hunts. They've got some good mechanics to go with it. It's just a shame it's t it's constrained behind the sw uh, Switch build. Pretty much. Yeah, it's kind of the same situation with uh, Generations XX, which, yeah, it looked was pretty interesting on the Switch, but it was based off of a 3DS port, so it had its problems because of it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, but I, I would honestly... They're both pretty fun. I would say play them both, really. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rise has its limitations, but it does make up for it, it with some really cool ideas and mechanics. And, oh, World is just a beautiful game. Uh -huh. And it, it's really why Monster Hunter became started to become such a big household name. World put it on the map. Rise you is know, just World, keeping it there. Yeah, no, Rise did a great job. World is what made it the most, like, welcoming one to everybody. Mm -hmm. Like, there's things you, like, there are there are their high-end hunts, and there's things you can just do for just fun. World had that. Like, World had something for everybody. It also made it the most streamlined one there has been, except for this one. This one's a lot more, even more streamlined than that. The hell is that noise in the background? Beats me. Anyway. I don't know. But, but anyways, both games are great. If you get it on sale, get both of them. Agreed. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it all up here. So I hope you all have fun. We will see you hopefully next week. But if not, we'll see you soon-ish when we're ready to do the next step of the Monster Hunt, the rise of the Monster Hunter here. Ah, Voice of the Monster Hunter. <laughs> see you. I'll see you later. Later. For, for those of you who are watching um, right now, we are also going to do a stream. A stream. Ramp. Raid. 
A stream Are you okay? raid. I don't know if I'm okay. A stream raid. We're doing a stream raid. Stream raid. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna raid Moonlight Master, who looks like to be playing some Mega Man. Mega. Mega Man. Mega Man. Mega 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 Man. Mega Man. Love myself some Mega Man. Mega Man is awesome. I love it. But yeah, we'll be raiding them in about a minute here. So uh, you know, just keep an eye, keep us uh, here on the stream. And I, I really gotta come out come out with a uh, thank you for coming screen for this thing. All I got is a hold and be right back. So. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for playing my game. Thank you so much for watching my game playing. But no, seriously, it does mean a lot. Thank you so much for enjoying your time here with me, my time here with you. It's all it's all great. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, I'm losing my mind here, and I gotta go pick up a roommate here soon enough. So I will go ahead and let you all go. And uh, the raid should be happening here in the next 20 seconds. So uh, make sure you text uh, Haru, because I do think she made a comment that she might be a little bit later today. I'll I'll be sure to do so. But just yeah, in case so you aren't running around, just sitting here on your fucking laurels waiting. 